Hey everyone, I am back with a pretty cool dumpster dive haul to share with you today. Most of this, a very good majority of it, came from one store um, a, a one day. Um, forewarning, it has been raining here consistently for many, many days now. That doesn't stop me though, I just still go out. Some of the boxes are wet, but that's okay. Um, I'm still able to save some stuff and I'll get right into it. Starting off right here, I got this laundry basket. This was somebody's personal dumping. Um, it's quite dirty on the inside, but it's still new. There's, well not new, but there's no um, cracks or breaks in it. So this was actually very helpful to help me haul all of this stuff in. So that came in handy and I'm gonna clean it up and probably keep that. Right here, I have no idea what this is. I'm assuming it was a store display because it was from a health food, like vitamin store. Um, anyways, it has these little hooks on it, but I th it's like a little white fence. I think it's super cute. I just didn't want to leave it in there. It has a little bit of bowing because of the rain, but I took it. Somebody will use it, I think. And then down here, super cool, I have this Christmas. It's like old school Christmas um, pattern on the top and on the bottom. It's a hat box, and it has a little string. This actually came from a thrift store. I'm not sure why they wouldn't try to sell it. I think it's awesome. Somebody would have definitely bought that. But I think it's going to be a cool, like, display. Not display, but like a packaging. Instead of wrapping gifts, I can put them in here. And I think that'll be really nice to give out on Christmas. Going this way, these are all magnetic dry erase boards. It comes with the magnets and the pens and some 3M strips on the back. And they're all sealed. And I have a whole bunch of those. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of them. And they have it displayed in four, so that'll be fun. Right here I have two sets of, this packaging is really wet, but two sets of these locker shelves. The store was for sure getting rid of all of their school stuff. Um, yeah, locker shelf. And then I have, I can't remember how many I counted. I think it was... 10 or around there of these five star planners. They threw these out because the school year has already started, but I mean, it's only been like two or three weeks. So these are 2018, 2019. It is still September of 2018. So these will be good for much, much longer. They did get a little bit wet down there at the bottom, if you can see, but they are drying out just fine. None of the pages are sticking together and they will be a-okay. So. I will maybe keep one of those and then donate the rest. Right here I have nine drafting protractor sets. It has the protractor, the pen that you can make the different size circles with. Oh, a compass. There you go. And so yeah, I can donate those as well. And then these are fun. I have three Locker Lux sets. It has the little magnetic pen holder, the mirror, and the fashion combo set. Oh, it's a dry erase thing. There's a pen. So, the cup holder, the mirror, and the dry erase. Super cute. I have two of these mermaids ones, and then one with the unicorns and rainbows. So, donate those as well. And then I have four jumbo book covers. Those can for sure be donated because books, at least where I went to school, had to be covered. Your textbooks, it was required that they were covered, so students can definitely use those. Right here, I have this little Barks and Walks dog. Um, the reason he was thrown out is because his uh, mouth is ripped a little bit. I can just glue that or sew that back together. I'm just hoping they didn't smash his head in. He's looking kind of smashed, so I don't know. He might not work. We'll see, but he's cute. And then right here, I took these because I can get 10 cents. So this right here is 60 cents. It's just four empty beer bottles and then two empty Mountain Dew bottles. So I'll put those in my returnables bucket. And then I got this really cute shirt. Um, I'm not much for like a tie up shirt, but I took this because I think it's cute and I'm gonna try to wear it at some point, but it's brand new with tags, as you can see. It did not actually come from this store though. It came from a thrift store. Now why they would throw this out, I have no idea, it's brand new. There were tons and tons and tons of clothes and socks and winter coats in the thrift store dumpster, which is just infuriating because that's where you take things when you want people who are kind of in need to get them. So the fact that there's winter coats in the dumpster at the end of September in Michigan 
is infuriating. Um, I, I didn't take them because I don't have room to store them until winter and I'm sure I'll find more to be able to donate to actual people. Um, but yes, so that was all in there. It is wet, but you know, I took this one cause it was new. Moving along to the food items. I have this little pack of hippies. It's six individual packs and then three of these yum organic sour twist. This is five individual packs. And guys, um, first of all, I'm gonna disclaimer this, well not disclaimer, but I'm gonna say that I am for sure set for Halloween now. I am not gonna get nearly this many kids, but I mean, I got 13 kids last year. <laughs> so each kid is gonna get stocked. Um, and I think I got a really good variety of things, especially like these snacks and individual packs of things. If kids want those, I'll give them an option. They can take as many as they want. But none of this stuff, except for this drink right here, just barely is expired and it is not even close to expiring so i have no idea why they threw it out but i'll show you a few dates that one if you can see is december of 2019 that's over a year away so these are all a-okay um like i said it's raining so i took most of these things out of the boxes but i have a whole bunch of organic fruit snacks they are the jelly belly brand like the jelly bean company and then I think these are cool, especially to give out on Halloween, just in case I have any kids that come that are allergic to nuts. Um, so these are Don't Go Nuts. I have three different kinds, which means there's no nuts in it, not free food. There's Gorilla Power, which is just chocolate chips, White Water Chomp, which is just white chocolate, and then there's a blueberry one. And the dates on all of these are May of 2019. So, again, wasteful. I have some Enjoy Life Grain and Seed Chocolate Marshmallow Bars, some Organic Z-Bar Kids Granola Bars. The date on these is May 2019 as well. These are chocolate chip. And I have a chocolate brownie. And I have one, two, three, four, five of these Made Good Strawberry Granola Minis. The date on this is July 2019. And then I have, this is what I was excited for because this is, it just screams Halloween. Like, I'm, I have to give these away on Halloween. It is a whole case, expire April 2019, of the Reese's Pumpkin Shaped. And I did taste one just to make sure they were good. <laughs> and they are perfect. They don't look like a perfect pumpkin, but I mean, that's just the shaping. And I'm definitely going to hand those out on Halloween, so I'll add that to my stash. As well as all this stuff. So real quick, I got two boxes of these Made Good Chocolate Banana Granola Minis. Those sound pretty tasty, actually. I got two packs of Starburst, which I will put in the Halloween thing as well. The date on these is October of 2019, so a whole year. I could keep those until next Halloween if I wanted, but I'm not going to. I have eight of these big Hershey's Kisses. Um, yep perfect until March is their suggested date but these are huge and I think the reason that these and these were thrown out is because they were teacher gifts they say thank you on them stuff like that school started so they threw them out or maybe they were teacher gifts at the end of the year either way they got thrown out I took them um, and some kid is going to love that on Halloween then I got one two three four five of these Reese's, actually I got six, my mom took one, of these Reese's bars. It has a gift card holder, so I'm going to take it out of this outer pack and then just give the wrapped bar that's on the inside for Halloween. And then I got four of the same thing of the Hershey's milk chocolate and then seven of these Hershey's special dark chocolate, same thing. I'm just going to take out the wrapped chocolate from the cardboard. Then I got one, two, three, four, five, nine of these Hershey's You're Awesome. Same thing, this is a giant cup. So I'm gonna, I mean, I guess I can keep them in. This one says huge thanks, it doesn't really matter. Um, but they're not melted, it's been cool enough here where there's no melting going on anymore, so that's really nice. And these will be delicious and kids will love them. Everybody come to my house on Halloween. I got all this stuff. <laughs> uh, I have a few drinks. I have four of these Kool-Aid things. I remember drinking these as a little kid. And then three cans of Fago Fruit Punch. One missing from each, so that's why they were thrown out. And then I don't even think I touched on this. It is a Berry Fit 
organic plant-based electrolytes dragon fruit drink. The date on this is September 24th, so that was just a day or two ago. And then ending my haul, I have two packs of U Kotex tampons. Um, I can donate those, and I'm going to insert a picture right here at the end. I also found a whole lot more feminine products, and it's a funny story because I'm on one of, like, one of the Facebook pages I'm on is a free page where people in need can post what they're in need of, and then, you know, people who are able to help them help them. That's where I get a lot of my donations through. That's where I give things to. Um, and this woman had posted that she was in dire need of feminine products and Midol, specifically t pads. She didn't want the tampons. Um, and then I went out and I got all this stuff, and never, ever in my diving life have I found Midol before. Never. And I was going to hopefully find some pads and stuff and give them to her eventually. But literally, the next morning, I went out and I found, I can't remember how many boxes, but I'll put the picture in the, all those boxes of pads and a container of brand new Midol, which is insane because she just posted it and I've never found it before. And then I went out and found it. So it was perfect timing and I went and do I donated it to her. She was very thankful. So I was glad I could do that and I'm glad I could save all this for the kids on Halloween. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys and I'll be back soon.